Clearly, we live in a world of distress in so many ways. Rather imagine all of us in this moment could bring, bring to mind people in our lives who are experiencing distress and trouble. And the, the news doesn't let us forget about it. In some cases, terrible distress. So what do you think? Do you think that we as a human family have the ability to heal the factors that bring distress to the human family and to the world? Do you, ha do you believe we have it in us someplace? Um, some regions of our heart, some regions of our spirit, our, our inherent creativity. Could anyone tell me that we don't? I don't believe it. And yet, that creative ability we have that, cr that creates the human family and lets it really be a family has somehow been hidden from human consciousness. Hidden why? Because people are looking other places, I think is the simple answer. They're not looking to that. They're not looking to the tools that they have within them and manifesting those in the world. They are thinking about something else. Perhaps the immediate distress of what they're in their desire for something better, their resentment at what other people are doing. All those things are understandable. As I say, we live in a world full of trouble and distress. It seems logical to be worried about it, be taken up with trying to find your way through it personally, and feel anger to the people that you believe are to blame. So people are looking other places out of fear, out of some kind of self-determined search for an answer. And yet the answers that are within us, the powers and capabilities that we have within us, go unaccessed collectively. Not altogether. I don't mean to create too depressing of a view of the world. But how much more is possible? So that's the world out there, the whole big world. How about our world? How about this morning or whatever time of day it is for you? where two or three are gathered in my name. It's a memorable quote. It's been repeated through the centuries, a brilliant teaching from a man who is perhaps the greatest spiritual teacher to ever walk the earth. It pictures people coming together and accessing their native ability to come together as a human family and bring the answers that are needed. In some way, those answers are unique to you, each and every one of us, are they not? We each have our own gifts. So that comes out differently from any one of us. And yet, it all has to do with weaving the fabric of our togetherness as a race, as a human family, whether it's the entire human family or any micro version of the human family, a literal family, any group of people. We all have 
the fabric of home within ourselves, the ability to weave the threads that create a home, to bring what's needed, doesn't actually take that much effort. 